Welcome to FX Signal Team. Today, we are going to start second section of our part one. The topic of this section is understanding Forex jargon and trading terminology. The basic idea of trading the markets is to buy low and sell high or sell high and buy low. I know that probably sounds a little weird to you because you are probably thinking, how can I sell something that I don't own? Well, in the Forex market when you sell a currency pair you are actually buying the quote currency and selling the base currency. In the case of a non-forex example though, selling short seems a little confusing, like if you were to sell a stock or commodity. The basic idea here is that your broker lends you the stock or commodity to sell and then you must buy it back later to close the transaction. Essentially, since there is no physical delivery it is possible to sell a security with your broker since you will give it back to them at a later date, hopefully at a lower price. Pips, price intercept point. A pip is the smallest unit by which a currency pair price quote changes. When trading forex you will often hear that there is a 3 pip spread when you trade the majors. This spread is revealed when you compare the bid and the ask price. For example Euro USD is quoted at a bid price of 1.4502 and ask price of 1.4505. The difference is 0.0003 US dollars, which is equal to 3 pips. For most currency pairs, the fourth decimal place is equal to 1 pip. For example 0.0004 minus 0.0003 equals 1 pip. If there is a fifth decimal place as many brokers show, it is just showing 10 THS of 1 pip. The JPY pairs will show the 1 pip in the second decimal place, for example 110.03 minus 110.02 equals 1 pip. Some brokers show the third decimal place on the JPY pairs which shows 10 THS of 1 pip. Exchange Rate The value of one currency expressed in terms of another, for example, if Euro USD is 1.3200, 1 Euro is worth 1.3200 US dollar. Bid Price The bid is the price at which the market will buy a specific currency pair from you. Thus, at the bid price, a trader can sell the base currency to their broker. Price. The ask price is the price at which the market or your broker will sell a specific currency pair to you. Thus, at the ask price you can buy the base currency from your broker. <music> Dealing spread, bid over ask spread. The spread is the difference between the price that you can sell currency at, bid, and the price you can buy currency at, ask. The spread on majors is usually 2 to 3 pips under normal market conditions. The dealer, broker, makes his money in the width of the spread, thus there are no commissions with most forex brokers. <music> Profit Potential in Rising and Falling Markets Since the market is constantly moving, there are always trading opportunities whether a currency is strengthening or weakening in relation to another currency. When you trade currencies, they literally work against each other. If the Euro USD declines, for example, it is because the US dollar gets stronger against the Euro and vice versa. So, if you think the Euro USD will decline, that is, that the Euro will weaken versus the dollar, you would sell euro now and then later you buy euro back at a lower price. In case that the euro USD indeed declines, 
then you can take your profit. The opposite trading scenario would occur if the Euro USD appreciates. Going long, we want market to rise. Going long means to buy the currency pair and then later sell it back to the market. Example buy 10,000 Euro USD. Going short, we want market to fall. Going short means to sell the currency pair and then buy it back later. Example sell 10,000 Euro USD. Margin and Leverage Trading on margin means that you can buy and sell assets that represent more value than the capital in your account. Forex trading is usually conducted with relatively small margin deposits. This is useful since it permits investors to exploit currency exchange rate fluctuations which tend to be very small. A margin of 1.0% means you can trade up to 1 million US dollars even though you only have 10,000 US dollars in your account. A margin of 1% corresponds to a 101 leverage, or gearing, because 10,000 US dollars is 1% of 1 million US dollars. Using leverage enables you to make profits very quickly, but there is also a greater risk of incurring large losses and even being completely wiped out. Therefore, it is inadvisable to maximize your leveraging as the risks can be very high. Successful Forex traders apply strict capital management and position size modeling relative to their account size and personal risk profile. Forex typically offers 100 to 1 leverage on capital. USA traders can currently only get 50 to 1 leverage due to new regulations there. Small deposit to control a larger amount. Magnify gains and losses. Designed to exploit movements in high-priced, low volatility markets. 1000 US dollars deposit will control 100,000 US dollars worth of currency. Forex pairs nicknames. Forex contracts are always quoted in pairs. The euro versus the US dollar is the most heavily traded currency pair. The US dollar versus the Japanese yen is another popular pair. There are six major currency pairs in the Forex. Number 1, EURUSD Euro Dollar, and its nickname is Euro. Number 2, GBP USD British Pound, and its nickname is Cable, Pound, Sterling, The Beast. Number 3, USD JPY Japanese Yen, and its nickname is Carry Trade, Yen, and Jap. Number 4, USD CHF Swiss Franc, and its nickname is Swiss or Swissy, and Chief. Number 5, AUD USD Australian Dollar, and its nickname is Aussie. Number 6, USD CAD Canadian Dollar, and its nickname is CAD, or Looney. When one currency is traded against any currency other than the USD, the market rate for this currency pair is called a cross rate. Examples include EURGBP, EURJPY, EURCHF, GBPJPY and AUDJPY. Demo Trading or Paper Trading you can open a demo account for free with most Forex brokers, this account has the full capabilities of a real account. I recommend opening a free demo account with OxyTrader as they are well regulated here in Australia and are very reputable with good customer service. Understanding Forex Currency Pair Quotes 
before you can get started trading the forex market, you need to know how to make sense out of a currency pair quote. The exchange rate of two currencies is quoted in terms of pair, such as the EURUSD or the USDJPY, how much of one currency you can get for another. The reason for this is because in any foreign exchange transaction you are simultaneously buying one currency and selling another. If you were to buy the EURUSD and the Euro strengthened against the dollar, you would then be in a profitable trade. Here's an example of a Forex quote for the Euro versus the USD. The first currency in the pair is called the base currency, and the second currency of the pair is called the counter or quote currency. If you buy the Euro USD, or any other currency pair, the exchange rate tells you how much you need to pay in terms of the quote currency to buy one unit of the base currency. In other words, in the example above, you have to pay 1.32105 US dollars to buy one euro. Key differences between long and short term trading. Short term day traders enter and exit a trade within 24 to 48 hours. The hold time is very short. Longer term position traders enter a trade today and stay in the position overnight, one week or longer. Here are the differences we see between the two types of trading and what you need to be aware of as you make decisions. Short-term trading adopts quite a short-term price view of the currency being traded, varying from a few seconds to a few days. Short-term forex traders immediately face a disadvantage because they trade more and have to overcome the spread more often. To make a 1,000 pip profit when trading the Euro USD, a long-term forex trader can make one trade that moves 1,002 pips, assuming the spread on the Euro USD is 2 pips. He has to make 2 pips to overcome the spread. To make a 1,000 pip profit when trading that same Euro USD pair, a short-term forex trader who makes 50 trades must make 1,100 pips. Again, assuming the spread on the Euro USD is 2 pip, because he has to overcome the spread for each trade. Long term trading adopts a longer term price view of the currency being traded, varying from a few days to a few weeks, maybe even months. Long term trading can be less time consuming since you don't have to watch the live market all the time. Many new traders are working a full-time job, raising a family and having a life while they learn this market. Checking in on your trades and making adjustments every once in a while, rather than constantly watching the live market throughout the duration of the trade, requires a lot less time and can be easily scheduled around your daily routine. Short-term trading requires a lot more attention to the market on a continuous basis. A much talked about aspect of trading is the toll it can take on you emotionally, the longer you are in front of your trading screen watching the market zigzag back and forth between your limit and stop, the more tempting it can be to interfere with your strategy. That emotional toll increases the stress of trading and can make the whole experience unpleasant. Forex Trading Sessions Forex trades 24 hours over 6 days in a week, Sunday to Friday. World Trade commences trade in Wellington, New Zealand at 8 a.m., Sunday evening in New York. World Trading closes on Friday evening in New York. Trading really becomes active during European and U.S. trading. Asian trading is generally much quieter. On the daily price charts we monitor, the day begins just after the New York trading sessions closes at 5 p.m. New York time. Market hours are given below in a table.
Our next lesson will be Forex Lots, Order Types and Calculating Profits and Losses.